Right, so I'm Vicky from Off the Hook for You, and together with Louise from Red Haired Amazona, we translated the Russian plush Panama hat pattern that has been on YouTube and Facebook and everywhere else. Um, so to start, what we're going to use are a 25 millimeter crochet hook and a 2.0 mil crochet hook and some wonderful Yarna Begonia cotton. It's mercerized cotton, quite fine, and it's lovely. So you move the hat out of the way. So a big thank you to Louise over in Australia who has very kindly shared the pattern for the top of the spiral hat. It's this bit here. Um, I hope you'll carry on with me now over in England um, and we'll go through the brim and how you make the brim that looks like this. Right, so here we are back round to the beginning and I've done 15 rounds exactly the same. I'm going to slip stitch over to join the bits together. Now this pattern here is all Louise's um, that she determined. The next bit from now onwards is my brim. Um, so here we go. It's a two millimeter hook. It gets quite tight now and you're going to do one single crochet in every loop all the way around and you're going to do three of these. Three rounds all the way around. If you want to make the brim flare out a little bit, you can on the third increase, on the third round, do an increase in the seventh stitch. It just makes it a tiny bit wider, but it doesn't make it too floppy or anything. So anyway, I'm going to carry on with this and I'll see you in three rounds time. Right, so I'm back round. I've got three rows of single crochet. One, two, three. I'm now going to change up to my two and a half millimeter hook and I'm going to chain three. Then I'm going to front post double crochet around here, followed by a double crochet immediately to the left of it. And then I'm going to front post double crochet. I'm going to miss this one and I'm going to go, not this one here, I'm going to go into the next one here. And then I'm going to double crochet next to it. I'll show that one more, miss this one into here. And then up and into here. There we go. So now you've got six rows of this. This will be row one and then I've got a further five rows. Um, so I'll see you after I've done that. Right, so I've just finished my brim and what I've done is six rows of the front post double crochet followed by double crochet all the way around which gives this lovely barbed effect, ridged effect. What I've done is I've fastened it off and I'm actually going to change colour. So this is the leftover of the pink that I've got. As you can see how much is left. There's a good amount there. Um, you make a couple of roses and that's it. But there's not. It's, that's one ball of yarn art begonia. So it's worth buying this yarn. Um, I'm going to change colour now to white just because it makes a big difference, I think. And I'm going to slip knot onto my hook. Here we go. And then I'm going to join it pretty much where the other one was as well. So let me just slip knot onto there. Slip it on over to there. Right now we're going to reverse single crochet. So what we need to do is we go behind, we grab the yarn, we come back over the top and then we're going to catch it and then we're going to come round pull through. You need a nice smooth rhythm when you do this and you're going to try and catch your tails as you go because then you don't have to do any sewing in at the end. So I'm going to carry on with this and then hopefully shortly you will get to see a finished hat. Um, if you need to YouTube reverse single crochet but basically you're going from right to left and you get this really nice effect on the brim, if you can see. But the smoother, the better, really, for what it looks like. I'll carry on with this, and we'll see you in a So with the help of Australia and the UK, and Louise and Vicky, we'd like to say thank you, and we hope you enjoy making that.